We have lovingly dubbed it the Garden Church, and today we're gonna to be sharing with you all about our enclosed garden here at our home, the Stag Run Oak. always wanted a vegetable garden. My dad grew up growing vegetables in our yard and there's something so satisfying about putting together a meal using things that you personally grow. What about you? For me, it was all about giving our girls the experience of watching something grow. Our five-year-old in particular is obsessed with seeds and how things grow. And she's kind of been like a little tiny dictator watching this whole process, <laughs> like inspecting our work and checking yeah. up on it and asking how it's all gonna work. So it's been a really fun process. Because we have a lot of critters in our <laughs> area. We live right near a mountainside. So we have deer, we have squirrels, we have cats from neighboring yards. So we wanted something that was fully enclosed to protect. We always knew we wanted something very clean lines, something very modern feeling. So we both sort of bounced around ideas and this is what we landed on. I found a few images on Pinterest that really spoke to me and then it was really fun to design something from scratch. Yeah, we just wanted it to be really simple but an interesting architectural element to our yard. We wanted to kind of fit the style of our home and the colors and we feel like we did a pretty good job. It feels really grand, so it's definitely like a statement in our yard, and that's why we were like, this feels like a this is the garden church, right? <laughs> like we're gonna because come out here frame. and have like this peaceful serenity kind of moment, and that is what it feels like. It kind of feels very zen when you walk in, and we love that. Budget. <laughs> That's actually the first I've thought of that concept. <laughs> we knew that we would save a lot of money by doing it ourselves, certainly. Oh, yeah. If we had had to pay someone the labor to put this together, it would have been a lot of extra money. The materials themselves were not super cheap, but much less than if we had paid someone else. He's not going to give you an exact number because he doesn't know it. I haven't added it up. <laughs> Mm. So this was a hot topic on social media. I asked everybody to weigh in and tell us if they thought it should be a natural cedar stain or if we should go black. But my heart always wanted it to be black. You were a little bit team contrast. You were thinking maybe cedar for a little bit. Before it was actually built, I felt like, yeah, it's gonna be cedar. But once it was built, it was so large, it was feeling a little bit imposing, and painting it black completely helped it blend in. Once we started painting it, I was like, what do you think? Do you think it was the right decision? And John was like, I don't even know why you're asking that, Doesn't because matter. <laughs> we can't go back now. And it was absolutely the right decision. Yeah, I'm super excited about how it turned out. What Everything. So many different so many things. things. Sunflowers and marigolds, different varieties of pumpkins. We have peppers, we have a bunch of different types of tomatoes, cantaloupe. Yeah. I feel like we've got enough to put together a really great meal. <laughs> yeah, and part of it is experimenting. We anticipate changing it up every year. We'll learn as we go. So this has been a question we've gotten a lot. What are you gonna do with it in the winter? Are you gonna turn it into a full-blown greenhouse and put plexiglass over it? I think our biggest concern is that we get a lot of snow mm -hmm. where we live, like a lot of snow, and so obviously don't want it to cave in. So we've bounced around a few ideas of building sort of like a metal roof that would be removable in the summertime and then go in place in the winter. We haven't really thought enough about that yet. So stay tuned. <laughs> That'll be to come, I'm sure. I think I'm most excited to see things grow and watch our girls watch things grow. Last year we just had a few little planters with some tomatoes in there and it was really hard for our little five-year-old to not pick all of the tomatoes before they had ripened. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably what I'm most excited about, just walking the girls through and teaching them how things grow and where our food comes from. Teaching those lessons to our girls. Some of them were little seedlings when we first started growing them inside our house. Or seeds. Yeah, and now watching them grow into vegetables I think is gonna be super satisfying. So good. High five. <laughs> Jen's already got a list of other things that she wants me to work on, like right now, and I'm telling her I need a break. There were new swear words 
invented with this project. New? Of course not. There were a lot of swear words uttered <laughs> with this project. I think I still have scars all scratches. up my arms and scratches. That's the most recent one. From the metal. The, um, it was the metal that caused all the problems. Yeah. But we did learn a lot about how to manipulate it and how yeah. to work it out. And it's definitely like easier with two people. So we're gonna be sharing all of that with you so that you don't have to learn the span of swear word vocabulary <laughs> that he did. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you love the project and we'd love to hear your feedback and how you enjoy it. Yeah, and we'll have all of the tutorials break down all of the steps on how we made this, of course, over on stag-design.com.